vlog, I thought I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could do a weekly shop for a family of four for £50. We're moving in a couple of weeks, so we are trying to be really, really good with our money because we've got a lot of work to do at the new house. We've got big extensions to do. So we are trying to save as much as we can. And also we waste so much food on a weekly basis because I always buy too much. My weekly shop is usually about 150 pounds, all in all really from the time I go to the little Tesco Express up the road. Um, so this is a really big challenge for me. So I did my shop on my supermarket and what it does is it gives you Tesco, Sainsbury's, Ocado, Waitrose, all those different um, shops and you put everything in your basket and then it tells you where you should shop and where it's cheaper. So what I did was I, for example, searched for baked beans and I would put in what's on offer and I would always go with what was on offer. So, um, and that's how I managed to save quite a lot of money on my shop. So I must admit my shop came up to 55 pounds, but that is because I am trying not to have dairy. So I got soya milk, which is a bit more expensive. I got soya butter and I got um, some soya yogurts. So that is what pushed my bill up a little bit. But obviously, if you just want to buy the normal milk, it's a lot cheaper, so you can save that five pounds there. So here goes, I'm off now to get my weekly shop. Right, so I've got my shop. It worked out cheapest at Tesco's. So I did a click and collect, which um, I literally drive half a mile around the corner to get, and it is free, so you don't pay delivery charges. That is one way you can obviously save money. Um, so, as you can see, this is what I got for £55. Now, I think this is really, really, really good value because I think there are about 59 items here for £55. But I did forget to tell you that I also got my dairy-free cheese, which bumped it up to the £55, remember, all my dairy-free things. So I'm going to do a quick pan across so you can see what I got. And then I'm going to group them in my... Um, meal ideas so you can see what I've got planned for the next week for my family. So I wanted to show you all what I think my biggest bargain is. Um, I brought five chopped tomatoes for one pound. I always get the Middle East chickpeas and I love them and I didn't know these are chopped tomatoes until I put in what's on offer in the Tesco department and this came up. So I usually spend two pounds on chopped tomatoes for four tins. So this, five for a pound, biggest bargain. Right, so I'm gonna start off with what I've got for our breakfasts. Now I'm not doing a new breakfast every morning. I've got three different breakfasts that um, everyone can choose from every morning. So I'll just alternate them. I have got eggs on toast, I have got um, porridge with soya milk and frozen blueberries and raspberries and for another breakfast I've got really nice rye bread and I blitz up tomatoes and I put tomatoes on bread and the boys love that bit of salt and pepper on top and olive oil delicious so for lunches I have got obviously packed lunch things for the boys so I've got um, some bread with soft cheese and marmite or Philadelphia and marmite a yogurt each, a banana and some apples to go in their lunch box. Oh, and some crisps, sorry. And then for Chris and I for our lunch, we have jacket potatoes with tuna. We also have chickpeas with tuna. That is a delicious combination if you have it with balsamic vinegar and olive oil. It is so, so, so nice. And we have got toast with avocado and a poached egg on top. Really, really delicious. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you've learned a few new kind of recipes and ideas for how to keep your food budget down. 
I certainly have, I know that for sure. If you want to write down what recipes you are going to try of mine and if you manage to stick to the £50 slash £55 budget for the week, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.